All right, here we go. This is uh, Sunday. Saturday, I spent the whole day just dinging out these massive dings. A little bit of heat, just trying to get some of the paint off. I'll sandblast it and sand back. But incredibly, I've got these dings out. I've just got to freshen up these lines. I can basically see the the lines coming back because the on the DR the Suzuki sticker sort of runs down this line. But uh, yeah, she's looking a bit rough, but I will persevere. It's come a long way. Um, see on the inside. I'll sandblast all the rust away. I'll put a bit of fill around. I've got some pits around near the top, obviously, where the condensation sits over time. The uh, the backbone of it was pretty rusty. I got all that. I'll polish that up. And of course, when I uh, when I uh, finally brace it all back together, I'll put a tank seal in it to make sure. It doesn't rust out again. But other than that, I tell you what, it's getting there. Yeah, it's a trick for young players. Look, I'm, as I said, I'm not a panel beater. But um, if you've got, a, a, you know, some hand skills, you should be able to do nearly anything. You know, like, it's just an eye for, for detail and perseverance. It just, everything takes time. That's my problem with the young, a lot of young apprentices I, I work with. That all they do is look for the easy way out of things, and that, you know what? There is no easy way out of things. It's all it's all hard work, and just going over and over. I don't know if anyone saw the uh, series of Father Ted when they end up with a car, they got a raffle, and there's a tiny little dent, and he gets a hammer out and says, "I can fix that," and he starts tapping it. And then the scene goes back to it and they go, oh, I think that's right. And they look back at the car and it's just completely smashed to bits. <laughs> now, don't do that to a tank. If you ever, ever see it, it's hilarious. But, um, yeah, it's coming along. It's coming along. I reckon uh, today I'll get most of these creases out. I'll get these lines straightened up and I'll get all the rest of this paint off. Bit, a bit more sandblasting, get all the rust off. But um, I'm pretty happy with the way this is coming up. It's, um, it's, it's looking like a tank again. But um, yeah, as I said, it's a lot, a lot of work. It's more of a therapy for me. You know, look, I'm up to, this is bike number seven. I've rebuilt uh, a few bikes. This one I'm not going to the, to the great length because these DRs are quite hard to find parts for, I found. Even the um, owner's manual, the repair manuals, you can get PDF file, but I really like hard copies so I can sit down and study them. But anyway, um, I've got this far and I'm quite impressed. I got that massive dent out and the creases are, are disappearing. You've still got you know, a lot of dings and stuff that are all flatten out. I might have to, you know, of course put some bog in just to smooth them off and then uh, I reckon it's as, it's as good as I'm going to get because I saw one tank on eBay it was probably nearly as bad they wanted $450 for it so I think I'd rather you know save the money and just spend the weekend and a over a couple of beers and you know smash the crap out of this and to Bill you bastard you could have told me that thing was munted yeah, if you're going to sell a bike, at least tell people some sort of thing that's going on with it. Every bike I've done so far, I've always found something wrong where even this bike, where he's dented it here and here, where he's hit the tree. I, I don't know what the hell he did. The instrument that the blinkers and that was all must have smashed because I found that all the wiring it had been rewired to a some generic um, switch set which just causes you so much grief because you've got to friggin' try to... Then that's why I'm getting this PDF download, just to get the wiring diagram so I can rewire it so any, everything works. Nothing was working. It started, and, of course, the 
feels like varnish. And first couple of kicks nearly broke my ankle. So there's a bit of timing um, trouble going on there, but that's another thing. I'll get into setting the valves, the timing, and I'll check the, the timing chain, see if they're all right. Put it, I'll rip the head, do some work. I might even get new valves put in it. Anyway, this is uh, as far as I've come today. It's one day's work, Cut, cutting it off and beating those dings out. All right, more to come. Uh, signing off, Brendan. And I'll, I might post this. I'm not into posting stuff. I just thought I'm up the bike seven. I might as well just, uh, I'm getting good at it. So I'm put some hints on the, you know, someone can watch it. Because there's guys, you know, we'll get on there and they can pull little dints out. But I watched this Japanese guy do this. He, he cut the whole tank off and he was just a, a master. And the tank looked brand new when he finished with it. But I don't think the dents was as bad as this one. But anyway, I'm getting there. Radio signing off.